This is Frank McMurray for Golden Gate Justice reporting on the current struggle of the workers of the Golden Gate Bridge to achieve a fair contract and keep the family affordable health care that they presently have. Ferry workers, the deckhands, captains and supervisors are all part of the coalition of workers that are represented and in, in bargaining with the Golden Gate Bridge. Today they are going to have a demonstration marching from the ferry building to AT&T Park to demonstrate their impatience with the lack of contract and the continued attempt by the bridge to take away their affordable health care for their families. The people that have uh, invested time and years, our retirees, now they're no longer valued. So let's leave them behind. Let's cut them off. Let's take away their medical care. Let's take away their retiree, the stuff that they earn, and let's leave them behind. Is that the culture of the Golden Gate Bridge? The Golden Gate Ferry workers have just made a complete circle around AT&T Park and now coming to the ferry terminal where the boat from Larkspur will be docking in a few minutes. They want to make their point. They're angry. They want a contract. We work at the bridge, at the ferry, and at the buses that make sure that everyone gets to work on time. Today we're really focusing on um, the ferry system. I don't know if everyone here knows, but um, during the giant season, there are special ferries that come from the North Bay that the Golden Gate Bridge uh, Highway and Transportation District operates. And they go from the North Bay straight to AT&T Park and drop off over 700 fans. And they operate this um, especially for Giants games. So we're going to be marching down to greet that ferry as all those fans come off. And those fans understand the importance of the work that you do and that coalition members do. And we want to make sure that they all appreciate that and they understand that and they all know about the struggle that's happening at the bridge. No contract! No ferry! What do we want? No contract! What do we want it? No! What do we want? No contract! What do we want? No! No ferry! No contract! No ferry! What do we want? Contract! What do we want it? Now! What do we want? Contract! What do we want it? Now! No contract! No ferry! No contract! No ferry! No contract! No ferry! No contract! No ferry! What do we want? Contract! What do we want it? Now! Why are you and Toby down here today? Man, we're just trying to live the American dream. That's all, that's all, that's why we're here. You know, we, we, we're looking for a contract. Um, we're falling way behind on, on, on everything. We take one step forward and three steps back. We're just trying to live the American dream. The wages are going down, not up. All the conditions are getting worse. Everyone knows this. And uh, non-union or union, everybody knows what's going on. But they're so busy with three or four jobs just trying to make things work. I've been in the IBU since 19... 63 and this is these times I think are really getting to be about the worst that there are there is certainly a concerted effort to break the unions I think that they are all trying to dehumanize us to put us in our place and the fact that they are still going after your health care is absolutely unacceptable right brothers and sisters I, I, I noticed that your chant as the passengers were coming off the ferry was no contract, no ferry. Does that mean you see a possibility of some work action, work stoppage in the future? Uh, well, you know, the, the entire labor coalition actually took a strike sanction vote um, at the last bargaining session. There's a real possibility that uh, there might be some folks that go out on strike in the near future if this contract isn't settled. I just want to thank everybody again for coming. You know, it's this solidarity that's going to win the day. As long as we keep showing up and taking this stand, we are going to prevail. This is Frank McMurray from AT&T Park, Golden Gate Justice.